Hey everyone, today I'm going to show some stuff about the inside of a Dreamcast controller. Um, I need pieces of this for a project I'm working on, which is why I've ripped it apart. And over here you see in this pile are the pieces that I am discarding, the pieces that I don't need anymore. Also the back shell, I don't need that. This pretty much is all that I'm keeping, this green circuit board, the holder piece for the memory cards, and of course obviously here's a memory card I've got stuck in here. So I'll just pull this memory card out of here and then I can proceed to the demonstration. The card and the holder. So one thing that I thought was really cool when I pulled apart Dreamcast controller is they use Hall Effect sensors for a lot of the pieces. A Hall Effect sensor is something that detects the presence of a magnet and its distance away. And these uh, shoulder trigger pieces um, contain Hall Effect sensors, as does the analog stick. And actually, these plastic pieces here don't contain the sensor. All these do is hold the magnet, and the sensor is actually on the circuit board. And I'm going to get up real close here so you can see the sensors. That group of four black things there, those are each Hall Effect sensors. Those detect the movement of the analog stick, which just goes on like this. And on the back side here, I left one of the triggers attached so I could show you. This right here, this part right here, this is the magnet. So when you pull on this trigger, you're pushing that magnet closer to the circuit board, like that. And notice on the other side here, there's one of those little black things again, that piece right there. Notice it says HE, I think it's a HED8 or HE08, something like that. Or no, that's a 6. Um, that detects the proximity of the magnet. And uh, just kind of curious here, here's a magnet. I can pick up a screw with it. It's not a very strong magnet, it's actually, it's very weak. Um, it's not like a neodymium or anything. And when I saw the uh, analog stick, I thought, oh, they must have four magnets in there. Look, it's got a little spot for each one of those four Hall Effect sensors, but I was wrong. Let me pop this open for you here, and you can see there is, in fact, only one magnet in here. Inside that little button there, let's see if I can pull it out with one hand, there is just one magnet inside of this, and depending on which way it turns, the magnetic field position is changed and can trigger one of those four Hall Effect sensors that I have right here. Derp. And then it can determine what direction you're pushing the analog stick. So I thought that was really pretty cool. Um, you know, a Hall Effect winds up being very uh, robust for a controller. They last a really long time. They're hard to break. Um, and uh, yeah, they just last a really long time. As opposed to something like these right here, the buttons would normally sit on top of these. And the buttons have a little rubber membrane. And inside the rubber membrane, there's a black conductive pad. And when you push on the buttons, that pad squishes down. And it pops out of its hole like that. Boop, 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 boop. And then that conductive pad touches this these two C-shaped contacts and closes the switch and that's how it detects when you're pressing on the the uh, face buttons or on the little D-pad which goes over there and I think there's one for the start button there. So yeah, this I'm ripping this out so that I can wire up to it for my new joystick so that I can play arcade games on my Dreamcast. Um, you know, I got Ikaruga and uh, Soul Calibur and a few others that I'd like to have a good quality joystick for, so this is going to be the brains for that. Anyways, thanks for watching.